So good afternoon, class. So today we're going to talk about what we're going to be doing today in library skills. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to watch the book fair preview video. So the book fair is coming next Tuesday and Thursday during parent teacher conferences. It'll be open during those times. It's going to be down in Miss Murray's room. Um, we are switching book fair companies this year, so we are using Follett. So Follett's going to have a bigger selection of books than what we're used to and a lot more newer books than what Scholastic was providing us. So book Follett is pretty new to the book fair game. So their book fair previews videos are um, talking to the authors and they don't necessarily tell you a lot about the book itself, but they're talking to the authors authors and they give you a little preview about the book. One of the authors they're going to talk to is Kwame Alexander. Now Kwame Alexander writes um, poetry books that are about sports usually so he wrote Crossed, Booked, Rebound. Um, his latest book is Swing that's out there and um, they're going to talk to Kwame Alexander. He's actually going to read to you from his latest book Swing and the cool thing about Kwame Alexander, I got to see him live this summer, is that he brings with him a jazz guitarist. So Randy is his jazz guitarist, follows him around. So he's going to play, be playing a little jazz behind him as he's reading the poetry. Now if you think about it, all the music that you hear, rap, um, rock, country, whatever, are usually poems and they're just set to music. That's what happens. So he likes to read his poems to music. Um, it's kind of cool. We're hoping to get swing when the book fair shows up. So you'll also get a pamphlet from Mr. Rucker that'll show you some of the books that are in the book fair. That is not all the books by any means because we got about five or six cases, big cases coming and three little cases coming for a book fair. So once you're done with the book fair preview video, Here's where it gets a little complicated. So if you at any time forget what you're doing, come back to this video and watch the explanation again. Okay. So we're going to be working on the AEA online databases. All right. So you are going to have a free choice board. Mr. Rucker should hand it out to you. It looks like this. All right. Today you're going to choose one or two of these. That's what you need to get accomplished today. At least one, two would be awesome. Eventually this whole board is going to be crossed out. All right, so you're going to pick which one you want to do. So say I want to pick, pick I clip art. So I go to the table where all of the database worksheets are laid out and they're all color coded. This color right here is really light pink, but it doesn't show up well. All right, so I go and I grab the I clip art um, worksheet and it looks like this, but it'll be in a different color. Okay, so then I go to the AEA online database link and I click on that. Once it has it open, I'm going to scan down and yes, every database is here. So don't say you can't find it. You got to search this whole page. Okay. So once I'm on this page and I find iClipArt, I'm going to click on iClipArt and I'm going to go to sign in and you're going to use the username and password that was on your worksheet. All right, don't Google search for iClipArt. Oops, I'm missing a four. All right, don't do that. You got to enter it from the AEA online databases or your username and password will not work. Once I'm in, I just follow the directions for iClipArt. So it says search for fall. I'm like, cool beans. I'm going to go search for fall. So I type in fall here and it asks me and I tell it to go. And it asks me how many search results do I have? Oops, sitting right there. Then it's going to ask me to search the clip arts. You just keep the word fall. I flip it to clip art. I tell it to go. There it is. Okay. There are lots of different worksheets. They're all going to ask you to do something totally different. Okay. But you're always going to, then you're going to fill these out. Make sure you put your name on every single piece of paper that you get. Okay, you're going to turn them all in at the end of the period. So I expect to see you have at least one of these completed. All right, there are lots and lots of different AEA databases. We're only going to touch on a few of them. So you're going to look at your choice board. And then once you have iClipArt done, put a mark down by it so you know you have it done and you're going to choose a different one. All right, so that is today's quest and what we're going to do. So you're going to watch the book fair video. When you're done with that, you're going to get your AEA online choice board. 
you're going to choose a database. You're going to go to the Grantwood Online Resources. You're going to search that entire page until you find what you're looking for. You will have to scan down. You will have to read. All right. Then you're going to fill out your worksheet and answer these questions. The one where it says, what classes would this website be good for? Think about things like English, science, math, social studies, art, music, PE, any of those kinds of classes that you think it would be good for. All right. So that's what you're doing today. I will see you next time.